Hello. Ryan Little. <laughs> so happy October, obviously. No, before, okay, before we get started, no, I'm not naked. I'm wearing a tube top. There's a reason why I'm wearing a tube top today. And it's because we are doing Halloween makeup today and we are doing a Tim Burton style makeup together. I was originally gonna try to do Emily. No, not Emily. Yeah, Emily from The Corpse Ride because that is my favorite Tim Burton movie. Although he is right now under some controversy. I do not um endorse him i just personally like that movie but we're not gonna do emily just because i don't necessarily have the correct kinds of blues i mean we can try later but we're gonna just try to make myself look like a tim burton character and how festive but some cat ears to put your hair back and keep it out of your face um i am i'm so this isn't necessarily a base it's a strobe body lotion but i i'm gonna use it as a base today um just because i feel like we're gonna be using a lot of like powders today so i might as well have something and it'll give us kind of the the dead glow <laughs> and i'm also gonna put it down here because i have to make myself very bony like i have to protrude these out a lot more um i think i'm going to start with my eyebrows first just because that is going to be um complicated go ahead and speed run this speed run my eyebrows because heavens knows how long i'm actually going to take on them because you guys know me i take forever on my eyebrows so i'm going to go ahead and do that and we're going to time lapse it because what if what am i if i don't time lapse the things that i do eyebrows are done I think anyway um, I'm not gonna do the little like flare up that they have just yet because I still have a lot of um, foundation and stuff that I have to put like right here and it's just gonna mess it up so I'm gonna just grab the rest of the foundation that I have and cover up my Felicia let me just express to you my love that I have for not Tim Burton but my love that I have for the course right I have currently in this October have seen it four or five times already um i just love it really i feel like it's the it's one out of all of them that isn't so aggressive if you would like to watch a tim burton movie but are like kind of hesitant i would suggest the corpse ride as your first one i'm gonna go ahead and finish uh with this foundation and then start with the white in a second i just put foundation all over my face i haven't done that in a very very long time that's okay. So um, I'm going to be using these two, which are the two that I have. Um, this is a concealer stick, and then this is just white concealer. Okay, now that I feel as pale as a ghost, um, I need to put on powder, but I'm not going to use my regular powder. I'm going to use uh, this loose powder that I have just because one, it's paler um, and it won't bring back so much color to my face. Plus, it's a loose powder and this will kind of act like baking because I did have to use the stick. It's a lot creamier. We're going to grab some eyeshadows and things and just lighten up the places that I want lightened. We're good with the paleness. Now we just need to move on to the contour which is very very significant here to use um the naked naked urban decay smoky because we have it um the only reason is because it has a very mute brown in it um and it also has like very like the gray that i need as well and they're very blendable so if i <laughs> a little overboard um i can fix it so that's that's the positive of that one we're gonna start with this shade right here just so we can go ahead and get like a good basis for it so let's do that okay so now that i have that really indented and pronounced i'm going to work on right here 
that's as, that's as good as I'm gonna go for the forehead. We're gonna move on to the part that I'm scared of the most, which is here. Um, not, not here, here. Uh, this is the part that I'm most anxious about. And we're gonna go straight into it, I guess. Okay, so I did it. It looks a little crazy, a little Michael Jackson, a little Maleficent, I know. So we're gonna blend it a little bit, just so it's, you know, not so crazy looking. Obviously, we have to move on to the under eye bags. I had them for free earlier, but like, I'm gonna bring them back. <laughs> okay, now that we're looking more dead than ever, great. Um, I'm gonna basically put depth into my, um, lid. Great, we look fucking tired. <laughs> um, so now we can do the whole liner thing. Basically extend my waterline and make it look a little bit bigger because they have such animated eyes. Okay. So I did it. Um, I'm still missing the waterline, but I'm gonna let my eyes dry for a sec. And we're going to now line the um, the part that needs to be lined in black. Okay, I got a little ahead of myself. Um, I did try to do the the eyelashes on the bottom. From here, it looks okay to not get too close because they are not good. But I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes and then we'll do highlight together. Okay, I added lashes. It doesn't look half bad. You do have to add highlight now to the places that I want highlight, which is gonna be very little and minimal, but it is going to be very sparkly. Obviously, I'm gonna do it right up here at my brow bone. We're gonna do a little bit right here on the height of the cheekbone. Do it on the nose. A straight line like that. You probably can barely see it. Right at the tip of the nose. And then the cupid's bow. And then yeah, I think we're pretty good in the face. I'm now we're gonna move on down to the this right here. <laughs> I just have what we um this illuminizer thingy but we're just gonna do this right put it all over make us nice and pale because the shirt that i'm gonna wear is about like here there. <sighs> we're going to contour this part and to be a little bit more precise i am going to use a little bit more of a precise brush and i'm going to accent um, you know, the bone. Just have to do the lip. I need a grayed out lipstick. It's just gonna be a little bit hard to find. Okay, I think this might be the look, but I don't want to show you until I'm fully dressed. So let me go put on my clothes and I'll be right back. This is the corpse, not corpse bride, but like Tim Burton look that I have. I know my hair isn't really fit for it, but I honestly think that I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? As we have gone through this process, I would like to just sit here and thank you for sticking around while I did do my makeup. It took a long time. Um, I decided. I didn't decide this, actually Instagram decided this makeup look, so if you really want to be a part of the next makeup look I'm going to be doing for Halloween, go ahead and follow my Instagram. Duh, look at how Halloween-y my nails are, they're literally candy corn colors, so go follow my Instagram and I will be posting the next options for you guys on either Friday or Saturday. But I want to thank you so much again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your week. Take care of yourself, drink water, eat, do something that you find fun, do something spooky, because it is October. Watch a scary movie or watch The Corpse Bride. And I will see you 